the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by first calling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal Mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up to live in his presence. Let us know, let us strive to know the Lord as certain as the dawn is his coming and his judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason I smote them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. It is mercy that I desire and not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin, cleanse me. It is is mercy mercy that I desire and not sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. It is is mercy mercy that I desire and not not sacrifice. Be bountiful, O Lord, to Zion in your kindness by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with due sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocausts. It is is mercy mercy that I desire and and not sacrifice. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, 
greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For who, everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one, one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we revisit St. Luke and his great theme of reversal, reversal as a way to understand living in God's kingdom, uh, rich becoming poor, poor becoming rich. I can think of no better way to enter into this than with a little metaphor, and so I invite you with me to a time that I'm sure we all remember, and that is uh, the playgrounds of our youth. Uh, the playgrounds of our youth. Maybe it was recess time, maybe it was a community park for you, maybe it was your backyard, but there was a presence of friends and you were playing and all of a sudden someone said, hey, it would be good for us to play a game. Let's line up and we'll choose sides. Right? I was in the uh, unenviable position one time of being one of the captains that was asked to choose teams and it was then that I think God was actually giving me a little bit of an insight about my future calling. He gave me an experience where he allowed me to um, consider how he sees me. We all know how it goes when we choose sides and pick teams. It's usually uh, those who are most athletic or have the greatest skill uh, individually that are chosen first. When it was my turn to choose the first member of my team, I noticed that one of the guys just assumed and presumed and started to walk toward me. And something about that didn't sit right with me. It conjured up an image that I've played with him before and I know that it's gonna be all about him and he won't make room for playing well with others. He won't even acknowledge the others with him. And it's gonna sort of be like him doing stuff and we're all gonna be watching him. And so I said, hold on a second, um, I'm not, choosing you and I chose someone else someone else who didn't have the same amount of skill someone else who uh, wasn't down on himself but someone who was ready to play with the team who realized there was something bigger than himself going on right uh, my team lost that day because of the choices I made uh, but that was just the human score we actually won in a bigger way we won in a way that transcended the human keeping score and we won in a way that was a foreshadowing of eternity, truly. Uh, we were laughing with each other. We were paying attention to each other. We were helping each other. We realized there was something bigger than ourselves going on. I think fondly of that day, it set me on a good course of life, always looking for those who weren't about themselves, but were about living in communion with others, offering themselves, not presuming, not stepping forward. And perhaps that's a great way to consider this reversal that St. Luke talks about today in the gospel. How easy it is, is, it, it is for us to uh, presume, perhaps, and to become even somewhat pharisaic, uh, counting the things that we do, the skill we have, and presuming that we're going to be chosen first. God says, be careful. There's something bigger than you going on. Will you allow me to be your God? And in this great reversal, in this time, God says, uh, hey, prominent religious figure of the day, you're not living in communion with me. And most public sinner, uh, you are. Because you are availing yourself of my mercy. You recognize there's something bigger than you going on here. And um, I choose you. I choose you. 
you leave that day, the temple, in relationship with me. Uh, to be clear, God chooses everyone all the time. He's always offering. He always desires everyone to be on his team. And today is a warning that if we make it about ourselves, we're not making room for God to be our team captain. We're not recognizing our other team players. We're not living in love of God and our neighbor. Let's follow the lead of the tax collector today to uh, simply avail ourselves of God's mercy, responding to his eternal choice for us, that we might not live by the way humans keep score, uh, but that we might live eternity beginning right now. And that is a winning proposition. Let us now gather the needs of this day and bring them before God's merciful throne. That all members of the church may grow in love and knowledge of God through his grace and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That judges, juries, and law enforcement officials may be guided by God in balancing judgment with mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may heal and bind up the wounds of those injured or recovering from surgery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those gathered here electronically whose hearts are experiencing despair may be blessed with the consolation of God's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For June and Tom Donahue, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died in Christ may return with the Lord to his glorious kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, bring the needs of this day, those spoken, those in our hearts, and those yet unknown. We ask that you grant them all through your Son, Jesus Christ, Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the praise and glory of his name for our good and accept sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach your mysteries with minds made pure, 
grant, we pray, that in reverently handing them on, we may offer you fitting homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that, freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, and God, God of hosts, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands and, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, save us, Savior, Savior of the world, world, for by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set, set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord.
Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the, the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. tax collector stood at a distance, beating his breast and saying, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner.
Let us pray. <clears throat> May we truly revere, O merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us, and may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, just a quick announcement. Uh, today, uh, Saturday at 11 a.m., uh, we will be uh, streaming on Facebook uh, your questions and my answers, if I have any. So that's going to be today at 11 a.m. So if you have any uh, questions or concerns about the uh, impact of uh, COVID-19 here at St. Monica, and particularly like such as the, the liturgy and your spiritual life, uh, please uh, go ahead and uh, email uh, your questions to Michael at stmonicami.org. That's Michael at stmonicami.org. And then uh, join us on our Facebook page uh, today at 11 a.m. And uh, perhaps the easiest way to find it is to go to our website at stmonicami.org. And there, uh, click on the Facebook uh, icon. Or if, on like my browser, uh, it doesn't have that icon. It just has that blue square on the upper, um, that side of the screen, <laughs> right up here. So if you click on that, uh, get directed to our Facebook page and join us there. And uh, hopefully it's be something we're doing every Saturday at 11 uh, during this time for, again, uh, an opportunity just to uh, address your concerns and have another way of interacting with you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, bow down for the blessing. Hold out to your faithful people, Lord, the right hand of heavenly assistance, that they may seek you with all their heart and merit the granting of what they ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.